So today we are going to listen to a story. All right? Do you like stories? Yes. Okay, right. The previous one we learned about the little red riding hood and the wolf. wolf. All right. So today we are also going to listen to a story about the wolf. Can you see the title? Yes. Right. What is this, what's what is the title there? All right, are you ready? Yes. Right. In the jungle, a fox and wolf were the best of friends. They lived in the same place. One day, while walking in the jungle, the wolf was feeling hungry. I'm so hungry. Do you know where to get some food? I know. I shall go and get a sheep from the farm. The fox then went to the farm and took a sheep back. After having the meal, the wolf was not satisfied and wanted more food. So the wolf went to the farm and attempted to take one more sheep. However, the shepherd came out with a stick to frighten off the wolf. The wolf left without getting the food. On the next day, the wolf was feeling hungry again. I know where to get food. I shall go and get a large biscuit from Uncle Lam's house. The fox then went to the house and took a biscuit back. After having the meal, the wolf was again not satisfied and wanted more food. So the wolf also went to the house and attempted to take one more biscuit. But it accidentally pushed a plate and it dropped on the floor. Mr. Lum then came out with a stick to hit the wolf. The wolf once again left without getting the food. On the following night, the wolf complained of hunger. I know where to get food. I shall go and get meat from the butcher. This time, the wolf decided to follow the fox. The fox took a piece of meat and went away. As the wolf was greedy, it ate a few pieces of meat until it was full. While it was eating, the butcher woke up and came out with a stick. The wolf quickly hid behind some rocks. As it was too full, it could not get out of its hiding place. In the end, the butcher beat the wolf until he was severely wounded. From the story, we learn that we should not be greedy and want more than what we need. So girls, do you like the story? Yes! Okay, with the title, The Greedy Wolf. Who can tell me what is the meaning of greedy? Okay, Pipa? The person that wants everything for himself, teacher. Yes, true, correct. Okay, very good. Anybody wants to give a token to her? Yeah, quickly, very quickly. Come on. Go. All right, good job. All right, next one. I have more questions based on the story. Who can name me the characters in the story? We have uh, Shamili. The butcher. The butcher. Okay, what does the butcher do? The butcher cuts the meat and sells it off. Okay. Uh, some more? Yes. The shepherd. The shepherd. Okay, what does the shepherd do? He takes care of the sheep. Yes, take care of sheep. Very good. Alright, we have one more. Yes, Labina? The fox. The fox. Okay, when you talk about the fox, what sort of character is the fox? Remember the song that we learned? As what? As? As sly as a fox. Who knows the meaning of sly? What's the meaning of sly? Yes. Cunning. Cunning. All right. Very good. All right. Now we move on to the next one. Uh, when you listen to the story, 
Where did the fox get the sheep from? Yes, Jiva. The fox got the sheep from a farm. Okay, very good. Who wants to give her a token? Alright, next one. Another question. Who can tell me where did the fox get the biscuit from? Alright, Putri? The fox get the biscuit from, from the Mr. Lam house. Past tense? The fox got the biscuit from Mr. Lam's house. Very good, alright? Now, is that correct or not? I don't see anybody clap. Give her a clap. Okay, she got it right. Right. Now, are you ready for the next activity? Yes. This story, what did it teach you before we go on? Not to be greedy. Not to be greedy. Okay, when you have something, you have it enough, that means you stop there. You don't want to have it all to yourself. All right? For this lesson, um, I actually make use of the CD provided by uh, our education ministry, which is uh, they're implementing the MBM and MBI thing now. So with that CD, um, I was able to prepare myself better. The main objective is to get the pupils to have interest and fun in learning. Uh, so that is my that was my teaching. Uh, overall, I feel uh, quite satisfied. All right, with the children's uh, feedback from the children that they enjoyed, they had fun and then with the colourful uh, video, you know. All right, girls, we are done with task one. Uh, job well done. So now, are you ready for the next task? Yes! Okay, now all of you have your envelopes on the desk. Now, look at your envelopes. Now, take out this piece of work. As you can see here, task two. All right, now take it out. Now look for the white piece of paper. Look for the white piece of paper. Now what do you see here? Yes. Sets of questions, isn't it? Yes. Alright. Now this question is based on the story that we heard this morning, right? Then can you see the orange sentence strips? Yes. Now you're going to look for the answers. For the question, now the orange sentence strips are the answers. So can you arrange the sentence strips according to the questions? Okay, all together. Right, start now. Very quickly. Now share with your friends, look for the answers. I want to see which group can look for the answers the fastest. Now once you're done, put up your hands. Then I know that you're done. Arrange first. Now, once you've got the answers, you may stick the answers on the flow chart, and don't forget to write your topic. All right, and then uh, somebody can stick, stick, start to stick, stick, stick this. Yes. Okay, make sure you answer in sequence. Uh, what's the next sequence? Okay, Lily's, uh, Lily's done, Rosa's done. Now, which group? Okay, Orchid's, Orchid's not done yet. Daisy's done. Okay, you are done, sit down. Okay, very good, all done. Now, can I have the group leaders to send up your work? Let's check and see. Alright, good. Next. Okay, show me Lily stands here. Come. Okay, next. Alright, I want you to read this to the class and see whether the sequence is correct or not. Can you read to the class? The greedy wolf. The fox and the wolf were the best of friends. The fox went to the farm and took a sheep back. After the meal, the wolf was not satisfied and wanted more food. The wolf went to the house and attempted to take one more biscuit. In the end, the butcher beat the wolf until he was severely wounded. Very good. Alright girls, you have heard the story just now. So, do you think you can tell the story to the class using your own words? Yes! Alright, yes. Can I see a show of hands? Who can try? Alright, I would like uh, Alisa to try. Okay, there are three puppets here. 
Choose your favorite. Mm. Mm. All right, then you take. Move to the front. Yes. Hello everyone, I'm Alisa the Ladybug and I'm going to tell you a story about the greedy wolf. In the jungle, there live a fox and a wolf who are best friends. They live in the same place. While walking in the jungle, the wolf was very hungry. The wolf, fox decided to catch a sheep for the wolf. The wolf, wa the wolf was was not satisfied and wanted more food. Thank you. Very good, Alisa. Give her a clap. <laughs> can I have this back? Okay, do you like this? Okay, you can keep this. Thank, Thank you for a job well done. Thank you, Puan Tam. All right. So next, we move on to tasks. Are you ready for some work? Yes. Okay, do you like pictures? Yes. Do you like drawing? Yes. Do you like to read books? What sort of books do you like to read? Storybooks. Storybooks. So today, I'm going to teach you, or oh, you are going to discover on how to make a storybook of your own, but a very small size one. Do you think you like that? Yes! Alright. Uh, the mini storybook is not a very new thing. I think it has been done a uh, long time ago. It's just that to bring back the activity, uh, to get the children to be more creative, we start off with a story okay, that we already taught them. But I ask them to change the title and also ask them to do the ending of the story on their own. So the ending is actually they can be all, they are their own ideas. It could be different from what I've taught them and I've shown them uh, to get them to be creative and to think out of the box. Now, can I have the group leaders come forward? Okay, I'll call your group. Tulips, roses. Yes. Orchids. Okay, hold on to the envelope first. Daisies. Lilies. So now I want you to open the envelope. Look for task one. Can you see task one? Quickly, hurry up. I want you to open up and place it on your desk. I want you to look at the pictures first. Okay, show it to everyone, the pictures. The pictures with sentences. Okay, now you are supposed to arrange the pictures in sequence. Do you remember the story? Yes. Okay, what you need to do is to arrange the pictures in sequence. Share, everybody must share. Yeah. Alright, all done? Yes. Okay, this group has arranged this way. Then, do you see these coloured papers? Okay, what you're going to do is, you are going to put the coloured papers together, then you're going to staple the side, then you're going to make your own storybook. This is a small storybook, so we name it as the mini storybook. Alright? So, can you see the picture without words? Yes! Now, why is this picture without words? Because without sentence? Because it's the title. Yes, it's best to place in front of the book. Then you can write the title yourselves. Alright girls, I have a sample here for you to see. So this is the picture. Remember I told you, picture without sentence. This yeah. is for the cover of the book. And you will write your own title. Don't have to be the same as the greedy wolf. You can write anything you want. Then you will stick the pictures in sequence. As I say, you can be creative. You don't have to stick straight this way. You can slant it or you can cut it in shapes as you wish. Okay. Then we have one more. Now, if you look at the book, there are some empty space here. Empty pages, correct? Yes. Now, I want you to continue with the story, your own story, if you like. And you will write the, end of, the ending of the story. Then, you will put the name of your groups. Now, I give you time, about seven minutes, to complete this. And I want to see which group can produce the nicest mini storybook. Alright, go.
good. All right, girls, are you done? Yeah. All right, can I collect from the group leaders? Tulips, can you come and present your work? All right, very good. Next one, can I have from roses? Thank you. From orchids? Next, can I have from daisies? And lilies? Right, thank you. Very well done. So now, do you know how to make a mini storybook? Yes! Yeah. So I hope you write a lot of stories of your own. Right, girls? Okay, thank you. Alright, girls, we are almost to the end of our lesson today. So just to check on your understanding of today's story, I'm going to give you quiz. Would you like a quiz? Yes! Yeah. Alright, now it won't take you long, so I want you to work in your own groups. There are only 10 questions here. I'll give you now. And I want you to complete it when I say go. Alright? Alright, girls? Ready? Yes! Okay, one, two, three, go! Now, whichever group is done, you sit down. Then I know that you are done. So girls, that's it, our lesson for today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And tomorrow, I'm going to see you again. Tomorrow, I will teach you a song. Okay, there's something to do with the wolf and the fox. Alright, thank you girls. Okay, firstly, they must know what is the objective of the lesson. Alright, then uh, they should have ideas what they want to teach. And it must have, the, the flow must be there. And then, uh, with the help of the MBM and BICD, they can actually uh, use it, uh, which is very beneficial. There are so many activities there.